fresh from another diabetes appointment Thursday morning as usual and I feel sorry for my poor nurse at this point she's genuinely genuinely stressed over it she's scratching her head doesn't know what to do next um, I've been referred increased my insulin she loves my spreadsheet though she made up with that I'm gonna send her a copy so she can give to people uh, just trying to get that month average into green Anything below 9 automatically turns green and my month average so far is 9.6 It was 12.4 for June and 15 for May It's just bugging me seeing that little orange box Just need it to be green and I'll be made up Before I even get out of the car I'm going to pull up at my mum and dad's house Yeah, I see you <laughs> That's what best mates are like so I'm about to go on an airport run and something I always neglected as a diabetic was you're supposed to check your blood sugar before doing a long drive. I mean the DVLA says it uh, as well as it had been advised by diabetic professionals. I'm just never really bothered and I get the importance. I know you should, it's a bit naive not to, but I just never did. Even when I was working as a professional driver and as a multi-drop delivery driver, it just wasn't ever something I did. So I've checked it today because I am cautious of the hypos I've been having mid-morning. So I've been tracking it. <laughs> I've checked it about five times just to make sure I'm alright. Be sure I'll be fine, but I am a bit more nervous than normal. Only a 13 mile drive. What actually constitutes as a long drive? Oh, that's better. Just had a fresh trim. Courtesy of Jared and Co. Every video I've been recording, I've been looking at myself in the camera thinking, ah, ah you look scruffy. Strange, because I grew my hair for eight years while the haircut. It's only now, after three weeks, I'm like, ah, I need a cut desperately. I look homeless. I look neglected. <laughs> Do you want to see my smug, celebrating success face? Probably something a bit like that. I don't do it too often, but today has been perfect. I was a little bit naughty last night, I had a few too many drinks, had a takeaway at midnight and didn't inject anything. So I woke up 5 o'clock this morning feeling a bit rough, finally got around to checking my blood sugar around about 8 o'clock and it was 26. No good. Managed to get it down mid-morning to around 15 when I was doing the airport run and then when I got back from the airport run it was 4 point something. And I've checked it about four times since, and it's been four consistently. So I've, I've been out for lunch, had a, had a coffee in Costa, had a few snacks, and it's just four. I'm pretty proud as punch at the minute, but let's not forget, it is not a competition. Before anyone starts saying, mm, moaning at me, I know it's not a competition. It's a disease, and it's serious. No one's competing. There's no gold stars for getting the perfect blood sugar. There's no gold stars for getting me HbA1c to where it should be or for getting me, me averages down. Let's not start the diabetic equivalent of fat shaming or anything like that. The blood sugar results are usually crap, but today they've been four point something all day. I'm pretty proud. I'm allowed to have these little proud moments. When I get back on, on my feet, I am going to celebrate the successes. I've been beating myself up for too long about the high blood sugars. Having a day which has been a consistent four, yes, I'm proud. Bite me. <laughs> Am I allowed to do that on YouTube? I don't know.